so greetings Pisces we're winding this thing up um, you know this is your last week yeah, and, and on Wednesday it's a changing of the guards right around three o'clock in the afternoon where we go from Pisces to Aries and the tropical zodiac you know it's spring equinox and so now the light dominates now light dominates lights already starting to dominate I mean because lights powerful than darkness we're already pretty much on 12 hours of light and what a relief it is cosmically it's less depressing it's like wow yay it's bright outside and here in the lowlands of northern california there's blossoms and flowers blooming everywhere and the weather's warming up in the 60s the low 70s and we're just like oh we're just you know stretching out our arms and our sap is flowing <laughs> and um you know venus in the 12th house is kind of like this nice place um, you know, for a good night's sleep, and if you do have a loved one, yeah, it can be a nice place in the bedroom, and, um, you know, you have unusual friends, maybe you've had to go in an unusual neighborhood or moving situation, and Mercury retrograde, I don't know, you know, like, Mercury retrograde in Pisces is said to be, you know, debilitating, and, um, I mean, Pis Mer Mercury in Pisces is debilitating, but retrograde can almost act like exalted in a way. So it's like slow down and look at specifics, you know, and address specifics in an honest, non-hurtful way, and things are going to go great. And I'm so glad to be with you this week again, you know. It's been, it's been a while, and um, you're all really important to me, and I thank you. And, you know, for those who commented on it, hey, thanks. Comment and share. We're going to do this again next week. Planetary Persuader, Cosmic Cab, your host. I'm out. <laughs>